Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode I'm going to show you how we can calculate the normals of a polygon. And first I'm going to show you, of course, um, how we're going to do that. Um, to calculate the normals of a arbitrary polygon, we need to have the vertices. Um, this is a basic triangle polygon. And the vertices are A, B, and C. And our steps to calculate the normals, the normals are perpendicular on this uh, on this line, so they are like um, pointing out of the triangles. Um, and to calculate them, we need to have the direction from one vertice to the other vertice. So in this case, it's going to be a to B for this vector, or actually we can we can calculate that direction by subtracting B um, minus A by or by doing B minus A. The same thing for the direction vector for this one. It's going to be subtracting C minus B, and for this direction vector, we need to subtract. Um, um, from C the A point and then we get um, the direction vectors and then we need to call the get normal method we did uh, earlier and then we can get these normal directions which are pointing out of the triangle but one important thing to remember is these normals this, these normal um, directions we get from the get normal function are not normalized. We need to normalize then after that. Or what we could also do is first calculating the direction, normalize the direction, and then calling the get normal function. Um, not to confuse with the normal, um, you know that the vector is normalized it just means it has a magnitude of one or distance or length of one and get normal just means get a vector perpendicular of the other one so um, if we normalize the direction then this direction vector is going to be a, or it's going to have a magnitude of one and then uh, sorry for the noises and then when we call get normal we get the perpendicular vector which has also a magnitude of one what we could do too oops is um, to calculate the direction of course um, but without calling the normalize function so we're gonna have that vector then we say get us a perpendicular vector of this vector from A to B and then the perpendicular vector um, will have the same length as um, A to B and then after that step we need to normalize then the perpendicular vector that's also possible um, for this project, I'm going to go with the first one. I'm going to normalize the direction between A and B. And then we get the normalized normal out of that. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. See you there.